but let's talk about let's talk about the book all right can we like glide into that section what okay your book is called the startup hero right yeah what does that even mean like what is a startup hero and why does it matter you know I, it was great i i um i started draper university and it was a school for entrepreneurs and we called it draper university of heroes and the idea was in five weeks we can take an ordinary person and turn them into a hero and they just have to Though in order to get into Draper University, they just had to have a little passion for something, whatever it was. And by the end, they might have passion for something entirely different, but we just wanted to make sure that they had some real passion, some real fire in their soul. Um, Stop, hang, hang on. So do you, can passion and entrepreneurship be taught or is that something that is innate in your DNA? Well, that's a great question. And when, when all the other venture capitalists said entrepreneurship can't be taught, I always thought, huh, how would I do that if I wanted to do that? <laughs> and so that was, the, that was my rationale for starting Draper University. And I, it, 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 I thought, wow, maybe I can do this. And it turns out that you can teach it, uh, but you don't teach it in a classroom. We do very unusual things with our students. Our students, um, they sign their life away. They, um, they have to go, um, they, they go, I say, okay, you've got 24 hours, get up to San Francisco, get a job offer on paper and then come back and tell us about the job. Uh, and, and so that's, their, that's one of their missions. One of them is, go sell something embarrassing like uh, tampons or underwear or whatever, <laughs> uh, condoms. We, we had them sell all sorts of different vibrators, condoms, whatever. And we, we make them to do that face to face. What we're really trying to do is put them into very unusual, awkward situations yeah. and realizing that it's not the end of the world if you come out, if, if you do something and it's embarrassing. Um, we also take them through survival training with Navy SEALs and Special Forces and Army Rangers, and they have five days in the wilderness going through all sorts of maneuvers and, and uh, teamwork and leadership activities. Um, and then we do a hackathon, and, and by the end, they, they've usually come up with an idea, and maybe it's the same idea they had at first, but maybe it's not. And then they do uh, some business modeling, and then they do... Uh, a pitch, a two minute pitch to a panel of venture capitalists. So that's the five weeks. Well, turns out we have turned people into heroes who weren't even gonna start a business beforehand. What, so hang on. So what, how are you like in this context, how are you defining hero? Like, what, is that, what does that mean? But somebody who will take long odds at some extraordinary outcome. And so it doesn't actually have to be a business, but businesses really do um, create a vehicle for people to do the heroic things. Um, there, are, whether it's a for-profit or non-profit, doesn't really matter. Those are just vehicles for getting something interesting done. And you need to be sustainable. You need to be profitable in order to grow a business. And when you grow a business, you spread the good word around the world. Right. Anyway, the reason I jumped into Draper University was I taught Draper University for about five years and I thought, I'm starting to repeat myself. <laughs> and, and I thought, well, wh why don't I just write a book? And I, I, you, we talked about travel. I, had tra I was traveling so much. I was on these airplanes for nine, 15 hours, yeah. whatever. Um, so I decided I would write the book while I was on those airplanes. And I wrote it on my iPhone. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just pulled it out. And I go. Da -da 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 -da. It does autofill, uh, but but then I'd have to edit it on the computer. But um, and I just get. I just go. Oh yeah, that's a good story. Let me just write that story, and um, and that was how the book started. And then I started to think about. Well, you know, if this is this is the if this is going to be the only book I write. I'm going to want to put a whole bunch of interesting things in here. And so that's where the poetry comes in. And that's where the games, the, the 
uh, brain twisters come in and yes. uh, and 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 I wrote it so that it all aligned with the pledge that we take at Draper University. I will promote freedom at all costs. I don't know. I can do the whole thing, but I, I will fail and fail again until I succeed. All these things that I try to inculcate into into the students, and then they come out being pretty great. And so people who read my book, like really read it cover to cover, um, kind of come out with the same feeling. And uh, and what we've now done because we for COVID kept us from doing two classes. I think we're going to be open again in October. We're just going to take our chances. Um, but but uh, we lost spring and summer. But one thing we did do is we had um, our team was amazing. They created an online class that had all those offline um, challenges. And so now we have Draper University online um, and it's it's just, it's $500, it's two weeks and you'll be on a team with people from all over the world. Uh, and that's kind of uh, fun. But if you come and do the hero training here, um, we, uh, that's, that's $12,000 and that's five weeks. So it's a, they're very different, but what's great is the online class has reached people that would not, weren't able to get visas or weren't able to get airplane tickets or whatever. And that's been great for us. We feel like uh, we could probably do that once a month. Whereas the, the hero training, we, we can only do about three times a year.